public broadcasting in Illinois is a successful example of a public-private partnership with a diversity of funding sources that build on each other to create a vital and sustainable service. Please help ensure the future of public broadcasting in Illinois by supporting continued funding of the Public Radio and Television Grant Act through the Illinois Arts Council. State support for public broadcasting began in 1986 with passage of the Public Radio and Television Grant Act and continues today through the Illinois Arts Council. That vital public support has never been more important to the future of our state's public broadcasting system and the nearly 13 million Illinois residents we serve. In the beginning, that was an enormous impact. The prospect of losing it is one that sends a quiver through the system every year. But uh, the, in truth, the more broadly based a cultural organization is, the better off you are. You need some important, some major streams of funding. But if you don't have the general public involved as contributors, you're not gonna last very long because all it takes is the collapse of one major funder and you'll go under if you don't have that uh, larger base. It's 54 degrees right now at 722. Illinois is home to some of the best public TV and public radio stations in the nation, uh, and we're very uh, proud of the fact that we cover the entire state. And we cover the state with great public television, uh, great public radio. We're keeping classical music alive, jazz alive. We're in classrooms all across the state. It really is a remarkable service, uh, but all the more remarkable when you consider the fact that uh, viewers, listeners, grants and the grant from the Illinois Public Broadcasting Council really uh, makes it all work. Public broadcasting in Illinois has two key components that make it critical for its citizens. One is the fact that the programming is available free over the air to any citizen of Illinois without a cable TV subscription or a satellite subscription or internet access. Anybody enjoys access to public media in Illinois. And the other component is our editorial integrity because we're non-commercial. Since we receive a diverse source of funding from many different people and organizations and grants in Illinois, we're not beholden to any one activity, so our journalism always remains independent with the highest integrity. But I don't think anybody really realized the, the human spirit that was alive and well in Washington, Illinois, and continues to be so. One of the real advantages to having a local public TV or local public radio station is that you get local content. So you have uh, stations like WTVP that do local history documentaries. I mean, nowhere else in the dial will you find a local history documentary of quality and substance like you'll find from your local public TV station. Same is true of local radio newsrooms. They're out there providing coverage of local events, uh, local newsmakers that you cannot find anywhere else. And this is all made possible by our viewers uh, and also the grant from the Illinois, for the Illinois Public Broadcasting Council. For about 15 cents per citizen, Illinois gets one of the most robust public broadcasting services of any state in the nation. And when you think about the diversity of Illinois from major urban areas to the middle of the state and the agriculture history and then downstate Illinois, Having a robust public broadcasting service means every citizen gets access to news and information, arts and culture, what's going on in their legislature. It all comes to them from such a small investment that public broadcasting delivers on each day. When we get a grant from the uh, Arts Council, we're able to leverage it in so many different ways. First of all, uh, we're able to factor that into a formula that grows our federal grant, so that helps all Illinois stations. Uh, and we're able to leverage that in ways to generate private support too, uh, so that we can put that to work creating more and more content. I'm John Forbes and I'm growing WSIU. I support WSIU because I enjoy the in-depth stories and the backstories that you just can't get anywhere else. Few media outlets can spend the time to develop the texture that NPR delivers time and again in its reporting. I also appreciate the thoughtful debate and discussion without six voices shouting at the same time. I don't have to agree with a person's perspective, but I do like to hear their perspective and the rationale behind it nonetheless. I'm John Forbes and WSIU is powered by me. This is a great example of a public-private partnership uh, that really works well for our viewers and listeners all across the state of Illinois. Here's what I want. I want everybody from here on up, go into your operations, go there, and stay there. By having such a robust network of stations in Illinois, we can not only serve at the local level, but we work together collaboratively to provide programming for the entire state. Things like statewide debates for office that are held and seen throughout the entire state or heard throughout the state only on public broadcasting coverage of the State House, Illinois Public Radio Network, and our reporters and bureau chiefs who are stationed in Springfield, not just for a few months, but year round for many years. So we're building on a history of knowledge that is unmatched by any other media source. And then of course, programs like Illinois Lawmakers with a 
rich history of the most in-depth coverage of the legislature in Illinois, and all of this is provided free to the Illinois citizens over public media. Poll after poll shows that public television and public radio are thought of as the most trusted media outlets out there. And uh, in this day and age, we're providing content that you can't find anywhere else. And so uh, we deeply appreciate the support of uh, lawmakers in Illinois for providing this grant so that we can continue to serve our communities with great public affairs programming, great local content, uh, teacher training, uh, ready to learn programming in daycare centers, and so much more. Uh, it is a remarkable partnership that really works and we, we deeply thank you for your support. We were really excited, really excited to get the technology inside of the daycare. And I feel with the iPad, it draws them in. They're really familiar with PBS. So the fact that they can play games with their favorite characters from PBS is really awesome. Service to children and educational programming has really been a foundation for public media for its entire existence. But it's really so much more than that now, especially in Illinois. Stations in Illinois have stepped forward to deliver curriculum around programming on television, to provide educational websites, uh, interactive apps that kids use to learn and to read in their schools, and of course, we're partnered with the school districts and we know the people in our school districts so we can provide special attention, specific detail, depending on what the school need is in that region. So we work with teachers and educators to help supplement what they're doing and make sure that the kids have access to all of the resources to help them become better educated. I do not think that an artist is an artist just because they want to be. Public broadcasting in Illinois really is a re an amazing cultural uh, resource. It provides educational content, it provides great arts and culture, it provides news and public affairs, it provides the best that PBS and NPR have to offer, but more importantly, it provides local content that you can't get anywhere else, and uh, we couldn't do it without the support of all of our friends, all of our viewers, all of our partners, and especially without the support of the Illinois Public Broadcasting Council funding. So we deeply appreciate your support. What we offer is something that brings, like nothing else can, a well-rounded education to the people who live in this area. And many of them will not get to Chicago to see a play or a theater or even St. Louis. We're in rural Southern Illinois and it is even more important. That's one of the things that happened when the Illinois Arts Council was created is that people like us who live here have access to the arts and public television all the time. Our collaboration with WSIU uh, has been fabulous. We share the same audiences, so why not work together? We're so thankful in Illinois that people had a vision so many years ago to invest in something like public broadcasting in the early days and helped it build along the way through infrastructure investment and operating grants that have a service now that is unmatched by any other state in the nation. An investment in public media is an investment in the citizens of Illinois, and we're so proud and humble to be able to serve the state, and we thank the legislature and the Arts Council for everything they've done so far and will do in the future to keep this service vital. Public broadcasting in Illinois has two key components that make it critical for its citizens. One is the fact that the programming is available free over the air to any citizen of Illinois without a cable TV subscription or a satellite subscription or internet access. Anybody enjoys access to public media in Illinois. And the other component is our editorial integrity because we're non-commercial. Since we receive a diverse source of funding from many different people and organizations and grants in Illinois, we're not beholden to any one activity, so our journalism always remains independent with the highest integrity. When we get a grant from the uh, Arts Council, we're able to leverage it in so many different ways. First of all, uh, we're able to factor that into a formula that grows our federal grant, so that helps all Illinois stations. Uh, and we're able to leverage that in ways to generate private support too, uh, so that we can put that to work creating more and more content. This is a great example of a public-private partnership uh, that really works well for our viewers and listeners all across the state of Illinois.